Okay, so <laughs> I began my channel because I want to perform. If I have a YouTube channel, I can always create my own vision whenever I want to, any time of the day, while at the same time building my name, my brand, gaining an audience. A fact about me is I'm an Aries, and I almost tripped outside. <laughs> and I'm happy to be here. Welcome to my documentary. Bells of Notre My dream begins with music. I invite you into my space to understand the lanes of my platform and how it all connects and leads to one goal. I used to be intimidated by the modeling space, but once I found that I belonged to it, I never turned my back on the runway. I'm always looking for any space to practice. I'm always looking for any time to practice. I'm always saving time to observe fashion shows. I realize that it has to be a part of my life. Modeling is a science. Fashion is deep with history. To me, it's another form of performing. The runway is a stage, the model is the performer, and the clothes are the art. It's a science and a strategy that some, including myself, have to nourish and develop. Some are gifted to naturally move and fall into it. I do my best to always feed my skill. And the way that I found my lane in modeling carries 100% over into my stage and how I perform and how I move and how I strategize. It really is how I found who I am as a performer. My tone, my vibe, my zone. I have to give it to modeling and I'm so grateful that I have this lane and this avenue to express myself and to really show what I can bring. The movement of dance translates into stage presence. I had to find my movement. I find ways to dress it up, to piece it into each part of my talent. I aim for fluidity. In any space, I work to give a moment that people can respect. My journey in dance started with my childhood friends coming over, playing the newest albums, and encouraging each of us to add creative choreo. With struggle along the years, I found who I could be as a dancer. Picking up lessons, tips, and technique, I creatively found my movement. I just 
just did some headshots. Acting is a world that I could never ignore. There is a place inside of it that I feel I have to take on. Once I realized people enjoyed my delivery, I understood that it was a gift waiting for me to dive into. Acting is where I learned that I could be a director, that I could live different lives, that I could enjoy something genuinely, have fun, and hear people call it talent. Beauty seems like it is a separate industry sometimes. The beauty industry has developed into an entity of its own. It is a billion dollar industry because it is literally the makeup of our everyday lives. Some abuse it and use it for superficial hierarchy, but I have always seen it as art and as a way to feel good and to uplift yourself. It can give moments beyond the stage, from a little girl watching her mom apply blush, to an older girl finding her milestones, to anyone, any gender who has a talent, who wants to feel beautiful, who wants to express themselves just for a day. Once you really jump into the path of beauty and commit to following it, it can lead you to makeup, skincare, body positivity, health, and self-love. When you see a performer, you see the face we put on and the image we give. As a performer, makeup is the package that holds your product, which is you, the talent. Like I said, makeup gives you the chance, even if just for a day, to feel beautiful, to transform, to give you a moment. You can always wipe it off and start a new moment. Writing is something I credit fully to God. My mom is the one who told me at a young age to write every idea I had down. I learned free rights in school. I neglected the investment at first, but the second I began to actively write, it became my easiest form of expression. Every night at 4 a.m., I write. Ideas come to me and I write. Books, songs, scripts, prompts, phrases, poems, treatments. I even rewrite lyrics to songs sometimes, just for fun. And when I hear a song on the radio, I sing my personal revisions. Writing, editing is all the framework to creating the perfect piece. Every creative work is an idea. Beneath every form of entertainment, there's a story. To edit to perfection, the easiest part is writing. The hardest, longest, most tedious part is editing. But once you do, you find the magic in the editing room. Writing and directing are very powerful. You call and create the shots. I use my vlogs to showcase my style of directing. I always share them from a directorial point of view. There are so many different ways to tell a story. I am excited for the day that I can solidify my highest form as a filmmaker and black female director. Once you practice, develop your skill, put together your art, and decide to start the path, it has to lead somewhere. You take the leap of faith, you fight past doubt, nerves, the dance of rejection, and you search for a place and an audience to witness and experience. You build up work piece after work piece, booking after booking, gig after gig, resume after resume, credential after credential. You put on a good face, you connect with the people who make up your audience, and before you know it, people are recognizing you, your image, your face, and your name with what they've seen you give. My goal has always been to hit the stage, to be on stage, to share my excitement with everyone who will enjoy it. It's never about the competition for me. It's always been my desire to perform since the age of literally three. To live and move on stage. For me, these lanes, beauty, music, dance, modeling, writing, acting, directing, they all develop into a highway. And that highway leads to any and every stage that gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I grew up around women who drove multiple lanes. Even with school, work, motherhood, and activism, they sang, they danced, they cheered, they took on multiple majors in ballet, dance, music, they never kept themselves in a box. It was normal for them. The different lanes that I take all come together. 
My dream is to use them all to drive myself to the stage. My platform is authentic and it is a teeny tiny part of my creativity. It is overall, in a sense, my stage. I created my channel to become a familiar act. It started as a way to help people to meet me as an entertainer. I made this thought to clarify any confusion. I am Ariel Upshaw, Ariel Chante, a performer, a creator, a visionary. This is Ari's stage, my stage, and my platform gives you full access.